Welcome to this series where we are taking a look at the campaign mode for Transport Fever 2. We are now on Chapter 3, Mission 3 or Mission 15 if you want the overall count. And it seems we are in Miami here and it's the Sinful South. We're covering a period of 1980 to 1990. So we're slowly coming up to date, getting more modern forms of transport. And the description, the Sunshine, the sunshine State as the 1980s begins until recently known primarily as a paradise for the retired lately the state of florida has been experiencing an unprecedented boom immense sums from shady business ventures are causing high rises to shoot up all over downtown miami despite the trade embargo imposed against cuba certain merchandise from the caribbean island is making its way to the u.s mainland right away does that mean we're going to be doing some smuggling the bonus task the long arm of the law See you later, Alligator and the Conch Republic. So it does look like we may be indulging in a little bit of illegal activity. You've already done a bit of this and that in the course of your life. At the moment, you're taking care of all kinds of transport services in Florida. Your client? A certain lady who is eager to remain anonymous. Your goal? Gee, to get rich. What else? Is it all legit and above board? Well... Hey, the main thing is that people are having fun, right? All kinds of good stuff comes from Cuba. It's so stupid that nothing's allowed to be imported from there since the USA imposed a trade embargo against the communist island nation. But even US congressmen appreciate Cuban cigars and a glass of fine rum. Your client wants you to move the goods from the Caribbean to the US mainland. But God help you if you let yourself get caught in the act. Help your contacts to bring cigars and rum onto the US market. You should disguise your venture as an import business for tropical fruit so that your activities attract less attention. So here we are. We are on the main map. Seems our first step is to deliver 50 cigars, 50 rum, 100 fruit from, from the Bahamas to Miami. So does that mean we've got, I mean, this is technically the Bahamas here because you've got NASA and we've got Cuba down here. That mean we have to take goods from here to here to here, or can't we just go straight across? Anyway, I suppose we better get started. I mean, probably the first thing we need to do is, well, we've got a port here. How, how big is this port? Let's have a look. It's like it's got two large docks on it. So it looks like we're having to use large docks. So I think our first, oops. We got no rail and no planes, but we got airports, so maybe that won't unlock till later on. And um, I think we're gonna, I'm gonna go large, and we're gonna, gonna go. What are they saying? Go big or go home. And I'm gonna drop that in there. And of course, we're gonna have to connect this up to, yeah, like that. And what that should do is connect that to there because we could get a legitimate service running straight away and um, what we got we got cigars here and this is rum so I suppose the first thing we need to do is get up something up and running can we I put that there would that connect both no nope. okay. Yes. No, I think we'll keep it as uh, separate entities so that we can control what we're actually doing. We've got a double load there. Yeah, I'm just going to keep it. I think it'd be, it just, I think it's just feel it's going to pay to keep everything separate. And well, now we may want to import stuff here, actually. Let's have a quick look. You need rum and cargo up here. 
I think we'll just use a. Uh, uh, we'll go. We we'll go to three for this. Oh, that's that's big. And I think just to make it look good up there. So we got that in there. There is part of me saying let's just send get this going by making some money with respect to this as well. So does this actually now this just produces stuff. Okay. So we got three ports here. I think we'll get the the actual port terminal going first. We build one here. Yep. And we're going to create a route from here. To here. And we'll call you the, the fruit route. <laughs> Fruit chip. So we'll just get you up and running. By a vehicle, what we've we got here. So this carries everything. Right, I'm going to buy one of these and we'll assign you to the fruit line. And I'm just going to get. Now the question is. Oh, let's just get this set up as well now. Well, I suppose it doesn't really make much difference where we put the trucks. And I guess what we're gonna have to do is put a line from here to here. And We'll call you the cigar trucks. Uh, actually, cigar Cuba, I think. Just in case we've got to put lines over in on the in Miami. Uh, we're gonna put um, and we'll call you from Cuba. And we'll get some truck by some vehicles. What have we got here? Um, what have we got here truck wise. You carry 14, you carry 25. And I think we'll just go. We'll get two on cigar. Oops, what happened there? Um, we'll get. I think we'll just have. No, you're a little bit further away, so we'll have give you three on Rum Cuba. So the question now is how many docks have we got here? Do we make this a bit bigger? And bring a ship over here and then send a ship down to there. Uh, I think we'll give that a go first. I've just got a horrible feeling that if we go straight across here there's going to be some kind of trap or something here. It's not that I don't trust the game. Ah, oh, we're going to go for it. If it all goes wrong, it all goes wrong. Um, what we're going to do is I'm just going to buy one chip here. Ah, that helps if I actually set a route up, doesn't it? If we go direct to here, to Miami, um, 
we'll call this the smuggler line. And uh, put you onto the smuggler line. What we'll do is we'll just run this straight across and we'll only use the one ship so it might take a little while but means if anything happens we can just jump straight in and sink it <laughs> in true smuggler style avoid getting captured sink the ship lose the evidence and destroy things how are we doing here right I think we got I suppose what we're going to need to do is generate the demand. Well, we've got the demand starting now. Are you actually carrying anything yet? Yeah, you've got a little bit of rum. In fact, what I will do is line manager, smuggler run, Havana. And what we're going to do is wait for you to get completely full of whatever you've got. Okay, actually. Go back. Right, we've done all the fruit. Looking good. Looks like Havana. It's just so tempted to run something down to here just to make some money. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Just to get Havana building a little bit that kind of covers the area here and we're gonna pick a line up from there and run you down to here um, and we cool goods Cuba I think what we'll do is we'll just run uh, a couple of old trucks on this line yeah, you carry goods and we'll get three of these on here uh, we'll get you running on goods cuba just to get this area up and running and looking healthy oops right let's have a look at Wow, we've got massive demand for fruit there. We've got cigars and rum and building supplies there. I'm just going to let that fill up to 50-50. And then we're going to do a single run. Right, you've got 60. We need one more load here. And then we'll do the run for Miami. And that's where they catch me out and I've got to sink it and <laughs> everything goes. Oh, nice delivery, please. Okay, 50, uh, line manager, Vanna. Away you go. We're going to watch you very, very carefully. And we're going to hook you just in case. Back, what we could do is once it gets there if it unloads all this and fulfills this requirement we could send you back to here for the moment once it's actually done we can tell you to return to the depot and then we'll see what the next mission is going to be so it looks like we're going to get away with our illegal um smuggling route obviously these ah this is a the passenger side this is the cargo side Right, unlock load, please. The Border Patrol has stepped up its activities in the waters around the peninsula. Make really sure you won't get caught. Return, don't let us get caught. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, you're a brave crew. The long arm of the law. 
Your job here is super duper. If it wasn't for those pesky law enforcement officers who make life so gall darn difficult, make sure they never get their claws on you. Your boss will think that's a great idea too. Don't let yourself get nabbed by the boys with badges. That's unpleasant enough all by itself. But when your client gets wind of it, it seems that what you've got away with this. You're doing such a good job that lately you're being entrusted with more goods than just rum and cigars. Transporting them is even trickier, the risk of getting caught a lot bigger. Just say no to it? With your boss, it wasn't an option. If you value your health, you better do what she wants. Meanwhile, the sea route has gotten pretty risky. That's why it's better to take a plane. Disguise the venture as a vacation airline so that the authorities don't get wise to you. There's a delivery of cigars and rum counts as successful if at least the same amount of passengers has been delivered first. It sounds very much like we've got to get... Mr. Manu oh. Mikael, a somewhat shady businessman from Finland, wants to try his hand at alligator farming here in Florida. Although, he's got a small problem at the moment. There's a hole in the gator pen fence, and at least 10 animals are missing. Help the desperate farmer to recapture the reptiles in his care before they suddenly visit him on his porch. The only way to make sure none of the creatures get away is to have enough boats. So we've got to send five hovercraft to this area here. I presume we've just got to set a route up and send them to here and then trap the hover vehicles in here. I think the first thing I want to do is get up uh, an airline from uh, it says passengers transported from NASA to on Miami. So I think we need to get the airline up and running first because that's now unlocked. So we're going to create a, a line from there to there. Um, um, call you. NASA Air. Hmm. This is going to take a little while to kick into force. Okay, what have we got in the way of aircraft? Passenger. Oh, we've only got one aircraft type. Okay, let's just put two aircraft on here. And to NASA Air. What's the coverage for airport? Coverage is pretty good. We've got a little bit of space up there. I don't think we really need a bus route or anything here. I think what we could do, because it could be direct bi-directional, so I think what we can do, we'll, we'll put a little bit of a kind of a bus route into the down here. We've got a come down into here and we'll put a across to there and buildings and do this but oops that put you that side and let's create a line around here there 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 of course we're gonna need a and what we're going to need is a depot. I think there's not much going on out here. Well, um, why have we got? Oh, ah, Ooh, sorry, failure. I'm just going to put that there. Coming in by vehicles, passenger, and we'll just get out six of them. Well, we'll go for eight. It's a long route. And we're going to add you to line one. Line manager. I'll call you the Florida line. So I've got a feeling we'll be using Miami or something like that. Okay. Also, it says a delivery of cigars and rums counts as successful 
if it at least the same amount of passengers has been delivered first. Hmm. Does that mean we've got to fly this? But this doesn't have a passenger line on it. I think we're just going to let that run. Let's just look at the gator line here. It is at five hovercrafts in the marked area. I guess what we got to do is create a, a line from there. Oh, can't do that. Um, a line from there to there. That will go through that line there. Uh, we'll just create this as a temporary line. And, and we're going to need a uh, small. We need five hovercrafts. And. Five, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five. And we'll just assign you to line one. And we're just going to keep an eye on that. So we got 15 passengers transported. We'll just get this underway first. We'll slow this up. And I presume what we got to do is just stop them as they pass through. Here's the first one. Stop. Get moving again. And stop. You stop. I've got three in. Alligators are back where they belong. The fence is repaired and the Finnish farmer can get a better night's sleep again. I think we'll just sell these off. Right. Oops. Not sure if there's any passengers on board, but probably a far more efficient way to sell stuff here. And we'll just get rid of that line. I think it's tidy. Right, what we got to do now is set up a, a route from here. To, ah, we've also got to move our. Uh, and we'll call you Smuggler Air. And what I should have done very early on is come to Cuban Cigars and right, we need to build a, a depot down here. Yeah, a bit of a fail from this point of view. I think we'll build a fairly big one just on the end here, just in case we need to expand it. and. station there and which one do we want you to get rid of review us uh, from Cuba oops I had a station there and and we'll get rid of I'm now gonna get the trucks going down this way make sure they're all running Piles of goods there. I 
I'm actually going to use this to select my get higher my game. Okay, we're just going to buy one and we're going to assign you to uh, Smuggler Air. And the reason I've put the aircraft here is that if there's going to be a trap zone, it's going to be in this area. So I think by sending the aircraft, being able to send the aircraft back to its depot, uh, hopefully. Well, again, we can always blow it up in midair. <laughs> so how are we doing here? Right, we're getting goods there. And how much actually, how much can these aircraft actually carry? 12 and two compartments. It's got to do three trips. Smuggler air. Banner. Cool. Right, we have two aircraft on Smuggler air. And we're just going to let them fly. Right, let's see how much you're carrying. Right, you're doing the rum. Actually, smuggler. Yeah, we can control. Um, I'm going to turn everything off like that and basically we can see which one is carrying what and if we need to zap them in an emergency whoops <laughs> did someone just skate a little bit there right time to change the route and drop the rum and put you on cigars that should be more than enough rum for this situation. Right, one more delivery of rum which is on the way from here. In fact, he's already landing. Wow. Although, to be honest, we shouldn't be landing at Miami International. We should be landing in some kind of airfield in the middle of nowhere. In theory, what we need is two more flights. Because what I could do is, once this aircraft's landed, if this one picks up 12, once this aircraft has landed, we could then actually uh, sell him off. Because we probably won't need him, and I think it'd be quite high risk to be flying um, smuggled items over here. My money's on that if there's any catch zone, it's going to be here or here. Get the screecher brakes. You're coming in too fast. I think we'll sell them. We got actually. You go back to the depot. No, I'll just sell you. No aircraft in the questionable area. <laughs> yep. Yeah. No aircraft with questionable cargo, so my airline from NASA should stay the same. We'll keep that going. Uh, line manager. Goods. is extremely satisfied with your reliable deliveries. It's a good thing, too. Hard to picture what might happen if she wasn't. At any rate, you're making a pile on this. You ought to invest in innocent-looking businesses so the authorities don't wonder all of a sudden where all the money is coming from. If you don't, they're going to catch on to you. You have different options. Investments in a cozy paradise for senior citizens seem just as lucrative as the deal involving hard-drinking college kids who want to recover from the stress of getting their degree. So we've got to choose which one we got. Now I would guess, given the, what we've been shipping from Cuba, 
I would say the retiring community is probably cigars and the spring break is rum. I think we're going to go retirement community. Invest the profits from your dubious operations in setting up well-kept old age homes. It's the only way to ensure that your cash won't be seized at some point. So we got uh, so the retirement community is Fort Myers. Now we could fly into there. We got a port here. We got a nice coastline here where we could ship stuff up to there around this area here. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Right, ah. and we're going to connect you up by row. Oops. And I think you like that, and we're gonna put a. I mean, strictly now we'll, we'll put a. Oh. Yeah, we'll put one of these in here, and what we want is the cigar run on the Cuban cigars. I'm going to add to there. And this is lower Havana, so I'll remove you. And what we're going to do is deliver cigars to here. And what's the distribution in here for okay. cigars here? We run up to, say, about here. We only need what. We're only going to do a single line delivery here. Actually, I think if we put the port about here, I'm a bit worried about having the port close to there in case it's going to be something silly like a entrapment. Or so if we have that there, and I'm going to run oops collision. you into there and put a depot here like that and what we're gonna do now is set up a route from you line from here to here and the only thing you are going to carry well one you're gonna be full the only thing you are going to carry on here this route is cigars I can find them Ow. So, got you running there and of course we're gonna need a ship for this large oh, did I build buy a large ship here this could be okay. um, oops and we'll call you the cigar run and what we'll do is we'll send the ship down here the next thing we got to do is deliver construction materials So that's uh, so that's just producing construction materials. So that shouldn't be a problem. All we need to do is just drop in. Okay, we'll just far away can we get? That's far enough. And we'll just put a and uh, a line in from there this is our legit mine so on construction uh, myers 
That's how, how it's spelt. Oh, no, 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 no. No. That's it. And I've got my vehicle depot here. Vehicles. Right, so we only really got one type of truck, so we put about three trucks on you, and you can go on to construction Myers. The ship is. Loading here. Because we haven't set up the demand here. So we need to have a line from there. Um just to keep things right, let's just put a road in here. And I'm just gonna put a center there and we're going to create a line from there there cigar Myers what is line one so you can go and what we're gonna to have to do is put what we'll do is just put the one truck on actually it's not far so if we just put maybe two trucks on here and we're gonna put you on cigar myers what that should do now is create the demand i think what we haven't had so far is demand welcome back it's taken a little while to get things sorted out and to get this cigar run down to here go over to Fort Myers and what I actually had to do is put a couple of small trucks over here and what I've currently got is my ship sat over here waiting it hasn't done a single run yet and it's now got 30 so we can now what we can do now is go to here and, and put that my ship is now taking off and it will sail over to here, drop this off here. Right, my ship is just docking. He's now delivered 25 cigars. I'll send you back to the depot. And I think we need to keep an eye on my trucks. Uh, get rid of you. I'm um, just going to. You've got 14 cigars on board. Um, got a couple left. I'm just going to let this run up. You got 14. That's 26. So we've got a couple left over. <laughs> just keep an eye on this. Right, it's just coming up to do a delivery. Life is wild loose and fancy free on the streets of Florida and the police are hot on your heels you you your truck 21 I think where uh, is that you where is I've right, got this one here we're gonna sell you as well I'm just gonna let it run so we should have no trucks operating in this area and what I want to do now is something I've been thinking about. That is uh, all lines, cigar, Cuba, and whoops. And what we're going to do is add a station here. And we're going to remove upper Canada, uh, Cuba. So we've now got a Fort Myers sorted probably do with just deleting that as well save a bit of money oops yeah well that's cigar miles very good 
You've managed to invest your profits in a respectable business. You're clean as a whistle. Okay. In the meantime, numerous middlemen were arrested, and your client vanished without a trace. <laughs> it might be better to switch to more legitimate activities. A film crew wants to shoot a TV show about the wicked highways and byways of Miami. Your expertise is called for here. The TV series revolves around two laid-back undercover investigators. Oh, Miami Vice. Vice and crime in Miami, dressed in chic sport coats. Thanks to your experience, the spectacular scenes are supposed to end up being particularly realistic. I mean, to be honest, that's been true, actually. There's been several TV series from Florida and Miami, which have always been a little bit on the rough side. Uh, let me see what we got here. The two TV cops are hot on the trail of a gang of smugglers who are intent on getting their merchandise to a safe place by plane. You're supposed to give a helping hand with the aerial showdown. I've still got smuggler air, haven't I? So, the trouble is, do I have any aircraft? An aircraft manager. Oh, I sold them all, didn't it? So, what we're going to have to do is get by an airline here and. Uh, and we're gonna have to assign you to smuggler air. Now, theoretically, you won't be carrying anything. Question is, will you fly through that zone there? Wonder if it'd be the return flight. Actually, while that's going on. In one dramatic chase scene, the team of investigators is supposed to pursue the fugitives in a hovercraft. Make sure that the staging of the appropriate episode is done well. I have an airplane that flies through the marked area. Where's that aircraft gone? Is that actually worked? Cleverly engineered. You're just too smart for those block-headed cops and the rest of them. Your boss is very pleased, and that in turn is good for your health. Okay, I'll take your word for it. So, it looks like we've done what that one there. Sorry, you've got to go again. I'm a lot of money on here and what we got is does this line still exist no tidy the line up won't it yeah. we got to do have two ho have hovercrafts on two different lines in the marked area it doesn't make sense but we'll try with just what You got this ship just sell you I would see if we can get you into here and stop you stop and um, let's we'll see if this one come in because I'm not too sure how we'd get two separate lines here because we don't have any more passenger ports here we'll just see if this will work with you sail into here why did you slow down so we've done that one actually I'm just gonna leave them running actually just for the funsies of it. 
will provide a high speed passenger trip between there and there. And right. We got so what we got well, we won't worry about that one. What we got here. This probably looks a bit more. Oops. Getting so many action scenes in the can creates an appetite. The TV crew wants to be provided with excellent catering. You've got to deliver food. I presume this is the food factory up here. Food processing plant, yep. Okay. Should have done this one first. Um just going to Wow. down to here and I'm just gonna drop you there and um, we'll create a line from new line from there to there we'll call you food um, and again I suppose we're just going to use the same trucks again and I think we'll get about four trucks on here and um, assign you to the crew we got that one there a sequence is currently being filmed where the team of investigators drives like crazy around the streets of Miami Make sure there's nothing in the way on the corresponding stretches of road. Okay, does that mean we just beat that and that? Okay. Well, we had to be a little bit dramatic there, but I don't think it's that much of a problem. I don't think we got a requirement to cover that. And um, we got a broken line here. Construction Myers. Wow, well, we can always put that back. Fine. Uh, um, line manager. Construction. Where are you? Construction Myers at the station. And have a quick look at the traffic truck situation. Yep. So we've got no warnings. And this is three out of five. Oh, missed this one. What's this one? to the script at this point the bad guys are supposed to blow up several bridges all at once naturally you've never done anything like that but you have heard about how it's done okay so we've got to build up blow up three bridges so we got to blow up that one and that one Oh, we're gonna do it within 10 seconds. One, two. Whoops. <laughs> I was a little bit too relaxed there. Never mind. Wow, we we'll have to rebuild. Uh, wrong. Cancel. Never mind. It's only roads, and I'm sure the. up again just tidy this up and this one looks terrible so we'll get rid of the U and it's not like we've got a massive shortage of money 
the TV series is a mega success. Naturally, above all, thanks to your support. All over America, Miami is now viewed as a dangerous place, but incredibly <laughs> sexy, too. Sinful image draws the rich and beautiful into town in search of thrilling adventures. But lately, Florida has become a very popular destination for other target groups as well. All the signs point to loads of moolah. Lure various target groups with attractive offers. There ought to be something for everyone. For a young, wealthy clientele and for screwballs, and even for perfectly ordinary family. Let's start up here, what we got here. Get you out of this. Let's start in Miami first. The rich and beautiful among young folks won't settle for run-of-the-mill spring break parties. Bring them to Miami Beach, where glamour and a whiff of notoriety go hand in hand. To Miami by bus. Does that mean we got to create a bus route from... Oh, I suppose we could bring them from West Palm Beach and all that area there. Right, let's just tidy up here. Get rid of the view. And what we're going to do is come here, buildings. And wow, smack bang. What we're going to do is put smack bang in the middle of Miami there. And which one is it? Food for crew. Oops. Um, what we're going to do is add. That's the one, isn't it? That should do the food situation. And we need a bus line now. Well, we've got a bus line running around Miami. Actually, let's do something a bit, a bit off the wall here. If we start in the center of Fort Myers and run uh, a line there and into the a line there and a line there and we'll run up to then what we're going to do is run all the way, way back through. Wow. There. And maybe we'll put, actually, we could put one on the international airport. And, and then we're just going to run through there. But hopefully, I'll be able to pick this route up. Or it's going to be. going to start there. Onto there. Um, you up there. Pick you up there. Go to there. Come back to. I think maybe we'll go to the airport and then you can go back out to Albert Road. I think that'll work. And what we're going to do is come in here, passengers. We've got here, you're 15. You're, okay, let's get about eight of those. And we call line two. Uh, we call it Miami people. Got that we got so what is this here the Everglades National Park is a perfect destination for families out on a day trip that is as long as you keep an eye on the kids and the alligators aren't hungry right we've already got one a passenger line here um, transport now we're into the grind session now to get this finished so what I'm going to do now is just let it run and I'll be right back. It's the, isn't it the Florida line? Right. We 
got to do is the Everglades. So we're going to bring them to here. So if we extend the Florida line, and, oops, no, gotta put a, oops, got wrong one. So if we put a, put that in there, and then. you to the Florida line that should bring the people over we've delivered the food and not transporting people so earn money transporting people the screwballs from Key West have proclaimed their own Republic and want to declare war on the United States of America the reason US customs operations on the way to the island are bad for long stale loaves of bread are supposed to serve the prankster republic as weapons in the war against the Americans. Give a hand to the military buildup by making sure that as many freshly baked loaves as possible stay put in the bakery and get rock hard. Key West is a paradise for all kinds of eccentric characters. They like it when things are unconventional. Transport them by streetcar an extremely unusual means of transportation for the USA in the 1980s. Tram tracks. Okay. Actually, if we, we run this right into Miami like that and, and buildings if we start down here in Key West and run through to here and up into there and if we start here, uh, new line, we call you the tram line. <laughs> Oops, where's tram line gone? Um, and we run you up there like that and oh we're gonna have to build a tram depot aren't we tram what we call it uh, okay. uh, we're just gonna assign you Tram line. So we've dealt with the spring baker breakers. We've got to now do this bit here. And I think what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to let this run. I'm, I'm a bit worried about the food processing plant here. It says the let the transport value of that drop below 40%. Uh, consumers transport. Six film crew, E West, hundred percent chance. Must be. I'm not a hundred percent sure what the transport value is. Oh, it must be this, sixty-four percent, sixty-seven percent. So we're gonna have to get finished shipping the food and anything else like that for the moment. Come back, and we are slowly creeping up towards transporting the required numbers of families to the Everglades. We've got our, tra our tram car system running along here quite nicely. I had a little bit of a false start because I duplicated the line and not fully assigned the trams to the right track. Now my tra this one here is actually giving me a bit of a problem because what I've had to do is effectively isolate this area here. So we've now completed transporting all the families here. That, obviously this bus here is actually delivered there. We're nearly there to this point here. So hopefully two more and this will complete this attract ta target groups mission. So I don't know where my trams are. Let's have a quick look. I don't know how many 
Oh, well, you've got six passengers on there. So hopefully, once you get into the tram stop here, I don't know what constitutes uh, transporting people. Maybe they've got to be transported the full length of the line. So maybe I should have built, uh, bought a tram line with just two stations on it. There we are. And we've now completed the missions. The only one that's not complete is the Conch Republic. And what I'm going to do is just go and have a quick look at... We're down to 50%. So what I'm going to do is just let this run for the moment. Just to see if we can get this finished. And uh, I'll be right back once we actually get to the point of getting this done. Because I think I've got a feeling it's going to take a very long time. Welcome back. We are very close to getting to the, this final requirement of getting the transport value of this down to 40% and it's been a very long process and all I can say is that if you really want to do this I, I wish you luck. On the other hand, the self-proclaimed Republic readily submitted its unconditional surrender one minute after declaring war. But at least the border control checkpoints are gone. Right, so how did I do it? Probably the best way to do it is if I can pick up the root slow food. And we'll just close this. You will see what I had to do is create this really long route. And you can see that the frequency for delivery rate was 60 minutes. So I got a very small truck here, the slowest truck I could get. I then created this line here. And it's effectively starting at Fort Myers East and running all the way down to stanley road <laughs> and and you can see what it actually did is it goes all the way up around here it goes up here it goes up around here it goes up around here back to here down to here comes down through miami goes all the way up to here back to here and finally down to west key and what i will say is that if you really want to complete this uh, sub goal well you need a vast amount of uh, patience to do this at my Mouse has just gone a bit weird. I think, it's, I think I'm going to have to check the batteries in it. Anyway, so that is how you do that final mission. And I just wish you all the luck. And to give you another idea of the time that I actually did this, is once I set this route up, I, I, I was about 59%. And I went and had a cup of coffee, my lunch, uh, read uh, a couple of uh, news channels whilst it was all running. Anyway, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.